Hello, something guys and gals. This is Something Guy 912 addressing the vegan moralizing feminist pandering drama sh machine that is Greg Onision. I want to make this clear that this is my first and last response video to Onision. And why? Because Onision is full of shit. Not logically or by how he argues his viewpoints, but by how genuine he is about his viewpoints. Anisian is not genuine in any matter at all, in any viewpoints. So, if Anisian wants to make a response to this, good luck, because he ain't getting another from me. So, let's make this one and only response fucking count. This whole feminist angle that Anisian has jumped on in the last year or so is just another way for Anisian to regain credibility after his peak fame arose from filming one of his ex-girlfriends having a panic attack, as well as debating a sock because someone refused to debate him in person. His arguments for feminism are so basic in the feminist angle that you can almost say he, he is making a satire out of feminism. He jumps to the dictionary definition whenever someone points out a rabid feminazi man-hater on the internet or on video as a defense, and uses the principle of some man having a higher position as a female as a justification for the patriarchy. Don't get this wrong. He is not doing this because he is so fucking stupid to realize that none of these points are going to stir people into feminism. No, he knows that these arguments are stupid and is intentionally using them to get views because modern third wave feminism rustles a lot of jimmies, including mine. As far as I have seen many a YouTuber respond to feminism, most, if not all of them, are genuine in their absurd claims and viewpoints on society today. But when it comes to Nisium, nothing is genuine about him except maybe that he genuinely wants to stir the drama pot. Anisian is like the shillery of the internet, but instead of saying anything to get the candidacy, he'll say or do anything to get the reactionary views. And it is with these reactions and responses from people that keep Anisian afloat. As the clicks that these people make to view his content, those copy-pasting his videos to download clips to use to make fun of his lurid behavior, and those making their own comments on his videos displaying their grievances with their arguments all keep the drama part stirring, no matter how negative it is. Any publicity, whether good or not, is good publicity to Greg. I'm not going to denigrate those who choose to debate, challenge, or respond to Greg, especially of some guy 827 not to be confused with mine, who is the ultimate in responding to his videos. But this video is less about Greg himself and more to those who decide to respond to him. I want to sit down with you who have made or are going to make a response to Onision and give you a bit of philosophy. Do you really think that Onision will change his mind once he sees your video? Does it ever cross your mind that Anisian does not believe a word that he says on his videos? Are you going to fool yourself into thinking that you've made the most finest ponage video that will surely crush Anisian's worldview to the core that Anisian will have to admit defeat? The answer to all of these should be no, but unfortunately, people are still clued into this idea that Anisian actually can hold a belief of his own that isn't something that tugs on the heartstrings of others. Onision is a drama machine. He wants you to respond to his videos so that he can intentionally be ignorant of your claims or arguments so that in turn, you will make a response to his response. He dreams of waging a flame war with someone who will take so much time and effort to make rebuttals against an argument that Onision has not intellectually vested himself in only to have jumped on that belief because he knows that people will inevitably respond to it. Not to say that his past flames were in any way a part of his drama part story, but the drama in those relationships were no doubt artificially culled by Anision himself. His recording of his ex-girlfriend freaking out, his public Twitter fight with his current girlfriend, him recording his dead turtle because he forgot to cut the holes into it, are all aimed at garnishing more views for him to the detriment of those around him. This whole feminist angle that he has a stick in his craw about is just another way for him to keep his name flowing around the internet sphere, like with his veganism, 
which he still touts because a lot of vegans on the internet feel as though they are morally superior to their lesser carnivorous humans. He's on this feminist angle because he knows how many people on the internet hate these feminists, and he sees how many damn responses they get and how many views they pull in. So once again, pulling that old phrase, any publicity is good publicity to Onision. So, how does one exactly defeat Onision in his arguments if one can't even address said arguments? Stop giving him credibility. Stop giving him the views that he wants with his clickbaity titles and thumbnails. Stop giving him the responses he wants to points he doesn't even believe in. And stop giving him a reason to continue making more videos where he drives the same point home as long as it rakes in the arbitrary view count just that much higher. I'll guarantee you, once you do that, the real Onision will show, as his attention deficit disorder will skyrocket him to the brink of doing the most insane, ludicrous, extreme things in order for anyone to glance in his direction. I know it will be hard to do at the start, considering Onision's track record of being a reprehensible piece of shit, but you will save yourself so much more time and energy when you realize that no matter what you do, Onision isn't going to change his mind, unless his mind doesn't give the same amount of frequency of views as before. I know it may be hypocritical of me having made a response video to Onision, but in order to convince people not to make responses belaboring the same points to this guy, I have to explain to them why not to make responses belaboring the same points to this guy. Onision does not believe a single thing he says. His frame of mind changes based on the curve of his viewer base and count. He'll jump on any bandwagon that is either controversial or radical, like BuzzFeed or Gawker. And I'm not going to entertain someone who won't have any emotional attachment to any of the beliefs they hold. As annoying and bereft of any moral, fire, uh, moral, moral fiber that feminists are, at least most of them sound like they hold their opinions to the grave. I know there are some SJWs who know the bullshit that they are peddling and do it to make themselves feel better or get attention. But where these genuine feminists make their points with a frown, these fake attention-seeking SJWs do it with a big dumb smile on their faces, much like Onision. That is all for this video. I don't want to give this drama machine any more credibility or any more time than he actually deserves.